A hey, shalom, shalom, shalom. First and foremost, I'd like to give all praises to the Most High Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shai, Waharu Ka Kodash. My double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, GMS, who taught me this truth, which is the 100% truth. Peace and salutations to the hopeful elect spread around the four corners of the earth, risking their lives in these last days to push this truth. Shalom also to the few aquats who are sincerely seeking this truth. It's the brother Yara Yaya Shar Allah from the GMS Italia camp. And I just wanted to do a quick lesson. Hopefully, it's going to be edifying. So, this is a video I downloaded from the from Instagram. And this is a this is a an interview between someone I really don't know and Luna's ex. And as you all know, Luna's ex is one of the wicked of the house of israel well, let's do it like this i already have the scripture on board deck so this is the book of first maccabee first maccabees chapter 1 and verse 11 it quotes in those days went there out of israel wicked men who persuaded many saying let us go and make a covenant with the hidden that are round about us for since we departed from them we have had much sorrow okay so this device pleased them well then certain of the people were so forward hearing that they went to the king who gave them license to do after the ordinance of the heathens so let's read whereupon they built a place of exercise at jerusalem according to the custom of the hidden so leona's ex and the rest of your celebrities Okay, they all fall into this into this lot okay those that are of the house of israel you know so they are actually working towards um the fulfillment of the agenda of the wicked so now i'm going to play this video so you get more of what i want to explain admits to satanic blood rituals and global depopulation the gay agenda what is it? How do you define the gay agenda? There's been this plan, like we used to go to meetings on Wednesday in black cloaks. Okay. Uh, draw like a, a big star in the circle on the ground. <laughs> uh, we have like these cups of blood, Got drink it. it, pretty much. And we kind of like plan like world domination, like to make everyone gay and then like <laughs> decrease the world population. And yeah, that's pretty much it. A question about the... So as you see... um. This devil right here, Leonas X, is saying this thing in plain sight. But the simple, the mind of the simple, the simps, you know, um, what's the new term that the apostles gave us? Um, the goofy ass Christians, the goofy ass Israelites, you know, they're going to listen to this and laugh, laugh about it. They, they think everything is funny. They think everything is a joke. But what he's doing right here is telling you the truth in your face in plain sight. You know, they tell you the truth in the plain sight, you know, and you just laugh about it. You think it's joking. You know, they take everything as a joke. You know, they are simple people, very shallow people. They don't have any inner deep thoughts. You know, they don't have that knowledge from the Most High. The Most High Yahweh Hashem Yahweh according to the book of um, Romans 11, 8, has blinded their eyes. He has deafened their hair so they don't hear. They see things like this and they just take it lightly. But this devil right here leonas x is telling you what they do in plain sight you know on wednesdays they gather you know they do this they, they, they put themselves in this in the middle of this you know the the, the, the satan the baphomet the baphomet star they drink blood that's human sacrifice and their plan is to depopulate the population of the world and to turn people to gay you know to destabilize your temple you know and they're doing all this just to you know infiltrate into your temple which your temple right now is is um is is your body you know the temple of the, where the most high dwells is, is your body you know so before we used to have physical temples now let's get some scriptures let me play it one more time then we go get some scriptures admits to satanic blood rituals and global depopulation the gay agenda what is it? How do you define the gay agenda? There's been this plan, like we used to go to meetings on Wednesday in black cloaks. Okay. Uh, draw like a, a big star in the circle on the ground. <laughs> uh, we have like these cups of blood, Got drink it. it, pretty much. And 
We kind of like plan like world domination, like to make everyone gay and then like decrease the world population. And yeah, that's pretty much it. A question about the. So, well, that's just the truth is giving you in plain sight, but the simps are going to laugh and they're going to think everything is funny. Now, let's go get the scriptures. I'm going to start by reading from the book of Psalm 83. So, all these are rec recorded in the, in the scriptures, you know. These devils, you know, they gather themselves at night, do all sorts of wicked, um, wicked, um, wicked meetings, all in order to destroy Israel, you know. Because they know when Israel comes back to its full understanding that he is the son, they are the sons of the power, they are the sons of the Most High, Yahweh Hashem Yahushai, and they get in a, in, a, in a right harmony with the Most High, you know, every other thing is going to be under their foot, you know. They are going to be the administrators of this kingdom, of this, of this planet, and Esau doesn't want this. So he's working very hard, you know, never taking rest, you know, using everything he can use to come against you. Your so-called celebrities are sold out, man. They are all devils. They are part of the agenda, as you read, as we read in the book of First Maccabees, you know. They are part of the agenda just to destroy your temple, to disrupt you from building that temple, you know. So now, I'll get to the point where I want to get to. This is the book of Psalm 83. I'll start from verse 1. It says, Keep not thy silence, O your high power. Hold not thy peace, and be not still, O Yahweh power. For lo, thine enemies make a tumult, and they that hate thee have lifted up the head. They have taken crafty counsels against thy people, and consulted against thy hidden ones. Who are the hidden ones? The sons of Israel are the hidden ones. The so-called Negroes, Native Americans, and the Latinos they are the hidden ones of the most high they are hidden because today they are, they're going they're going around with different with different identities you know which it's not their real identity people don't know them they are actually the, the scum of of the society they are the lowest in the society so they are hidden you know but esau knows who we are actually so they have said come let us cut them off from being a nation that the name of Israel may be no more in remembrance. And that is exactly their plan. Their plan is to cut Israel out of the whole nations, you know, so we may be no longer in, in, in remembrance. That is why they're pushing this Vanessa juice, you know, in order to change the sequence of your DNA, you know. They're pushing this thing heavily in order to implicate the next step, which is the MO, Marcus Aurelius, you know, so you become a property under the devils, you know, that that is if you get to survive, okay, you become a property because you're not guaranteed you're going to survive after taking the, the, the Vanessa juice, you know. So they have this plan to cut Israel off, you know. So in order to do this, they really don't care about the rest of the people. They even cut the low class of themselves. That's just to tell you how wicked these people are. These people that are governing this kingdom that is here. So now, let me bring out a quick, quick one. Um, I'd just like to put it here. Okay. So, um, resto flesh. I think it's the book of um, Ephesians chapter 6. So this is the book of Ephesians chapter 6 verse 12, which quotes, For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Okay, so we know that we are not wrestling against flesh and blood. We are wrestling actually against the powers that be of this world, you know. 
this kingdom right here is given into the hands of the wicked, you know, which are the so-called white men, the Caucasians, because they come from the mountains of Caucasus. That is Esau, Edom is biblical nationality, you know, and their plan is to get rid of the sons of the promise, the sons of the powers, the sons of the covenants, which are the Israelites in the Hebrew native language is Yashar Allah, you know. Their plan is to get rid of Yashar Allah, who are the princes of the power, you know. But unfortunately, Yashar Allah, the, the major part of Yashar Allah is just sleeping, man. They don't know, they don't consider, they are, they are, they are, they are, they are worse than donkeys, you know. They are worse than animals because they don't think, they don't, they, they don't, they don't consider anything just like the book of um, Isaiah 1, 3 speaks about, you know. We are carried away with the lust of this flesh, with the lust of every wicked agenda that these devils are pushing. We all want to become billionaires. We all want to make it. We all want to follow some careers and become some superstars or whatever. But we are not seeking the kingdom of our, of our power. We are not seeking our power. We are not seeking he who has always redeemed us from the hands of the wicked each time we are carried away captivity you know for the punishment of us of our stiff neckness you know so israel is really stupid because most people are going to see that video and they just laugh about it oh he's joking he's doing this but they tell you this truth in plain sight but they don't see now they have consulted together with one consent they are confederate against d the tabernacles of Edom and the Ishmaelites of Moab and the Hagarines. So, you know, the Edomites are the so-called white men, you know, the Caucasians. You know, they are called Caucasians because they come from the mountains of Caucasus, which is a location in, I believe, in Russia, you know. These are cavemen, you know. They are the real cave dwellers, you know. They just got into power, you know, when Jake started messing up during the time of um, the Dark Ages, you know. They came into power in the, the in, in the in the Renaissance, you know. They went into power, I believe, in in um, in the thousand three hundred, you know. Right earlier before that, they get they go into power. They started infiltrating through the power of Jake, and they got full power, I believe, in in the three hundreds, you know, in the early to the late three hundreds, you know. And they named it the times of the Renaissance, you know. They've always worked on this. The Ishmaelites are the so-called Arabs that you know, in which the real Arabs are dark-skinned people, you know. But the Arabs that are there, many of them, you know, they are actually mixed with Edomites. Then you have the Moabites who are the Chinese. The Agarines are the Africans, the so-called Africans, the Amites, you know. Gebal and Hamon who are the Japanese and Amalek, which is the, 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 the leading family of the Edomites, you know. The Philistines, Africans, Hamites, with the inhabitants of Tyrus, you know. Asher also is joined with them. They have opened the children of Lot. Do unto them as unto the Midianites, as to Sisera, as to Jabin at the brook of Kishon, you know, which perished at Endor. They become a dung for the earth. And that is going to be the end of these people. All these plans that they're planning, they can drink how much blood they like, man. They can hold meetings, you know, um, every week, not only Wednesdays, you know. They can they can draw the circle uh, bigger than the circle of CERN in Switzerland, you know. But they are not going to succeed because their, their judgment has been written right from the beginning. The words of the Most High, Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shai, will never return void, man. Let's get another scripture because what these people are actually trying to do is to infiltrate your 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 temple which is your body you know that's why they're actually giving you this vanessa juice to destroy your body which is the temple of the most high they, they know this but jake is the only one who doesn't know you know they've always done this right from the beginning now let me give you um well the full story you should go read the book of um first ezra you know you should also read the book of ezra chapter 4 to get the understanding of how these people have always tried to obstruct the, the sons of Israel coming together and building the temple to the Most High because building that temple means, you know, observing his commandments, you know, 
and following the laws and ordinances that were given to us through Moses, you know. So they know that. They know that whenever we are in that spirit, you know, in that right spirit, in harmony with our power, we destroy everything, man. Anything on our way is, is, is trampled under our foot, you know. No nation can stand against us. So they don't want this. They want us destroyed. They, want, uh, they don't want us to build this temple. I'm going to read, to just give a quick one from the book of Nehemiah. Just a quick summary of what I'm saying. For, yeah, I think. Why is it not giving me? Nehemiah 4. This is the book of Nehemiah chapter 4. I'll read from... Okay, I'll read from verse 7. He quotes, But it came to pass that when Sambalat and Tobiah and the Arabians and the Ammonites and the Ashdodites heard that the wall of Jerusalem were made up, that the breaches began to be stopped, then they were very rot, you know? And conspired all of them again. Um, let me read again. But it came to pass that when Sambalat and Tobiah and the Arabians and the Ammonites and the Ashtodites heard that the walls of Jerusalem were made up and that the breaches began to be stopped, then they were very rot and conspired all of them together to come and to fight against Jerusalem and to hinder it you know the plan the major plan is to hinder is to hinder us from building that temple and that is exactly what they are doing today because the scriptures let you know that your temp your body is the temple body temple let's just put it like this maybe i'll see can. This is the book of 1 Corinthians chapter 6, verse 19. It says, What? Know ye not that your body is the temple of the Holy Ghost, which is in you, which ye have of Yahweh, and ye are not your own? You know? So, we no longer have to, you know, worship the Most High Yahweh, Shem Yahushai, in temples built with stone, stones and hands of men, as written in the book of Isaiah. Can't remember, is it 6 or so? Um, I don't, I don't remember, but it's all good, you know. Our, our bodies are now the temple in which the Most High Yahweh Hashem Yahushai dwells, you know, where His Spirit, the Holy Ghost, the Buka Kodash dwells, you know, in which this is the Spirit that quickens you. This is the Spirit of Truth, the Spirit of Yahweh Shai, the Spirit of the Most High, the Spirit that opens your eyes. So they try to disrupt this temple now. That's why they have to get you juiced up, you know then you know give you the mot you know to destroy all that and 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 replace themselves you know as yahweh but it's impossible they are going to be destroyed they are going to be put to shame you know this is the book of um psalm one thirty seven Verse 7, which quotes, this is the book of Psalm 30, 137, verse 7, it says, Remember, O Lord, Yahweh Hashem Yahushai, the children of Edom in the day of Jerusalem, who said, Raise it, raise it, even to the foundation thereof. You know? In the day of Jerusalem, when Jerusalem was, our, our, our temple was destroyed, the sons of Edom, the same people who are ruling in this kingdom right now, who, who are covering themselves with the covering of, of, of an angel of light, who in reality are the true devils, you know, they, they come, you know, they smile, they speak with a tongue that is delicate like butter, but deep in their heart it are swords prepared to destroy you, man. The so-called white man, you know. They are same people who were happy and they were telling, these are the days when the Babylonians were destroying the temple. They were saying, raise it raise it even to the foundation they wanted it destroyed man 
O daughter of Babylon, who are to be destroyed, happy shall be he that rewarded thee as thou hast served us. Okay, happy shall be he that taketh and dasheth thy little ones against the stones. And this is what is going to happen, you know. This is going to be what, what is going to happen. You know, the book of Revelation lets you know that he that leadeth into captivity must go into captivity, and he that killeth with the sword shall die by the sword. This is the fate of the saints. You know, just paraphrasing. This is our fate. We are going to do unto them exactly all that they've done. So when you see things like this, you know, instead of you thinking it's just a joke. It's just a play and laughing over it. You should be praying to the Most High Yahweh Hashem Yahushai. You should be seeking Him with all your heart because there is no much time, you know. For we wrestle against principalities and powers, you know, wickedness in high places, you know. This is not a physical war. This is a war. Admits to satanic spirit. blood rituals and global depopulation. The gay agenda. What is it? How do you define the gay agenda? There's been this plan, like we used to go to meetings on Wednesday in black cloaks. Okay. Uh, draw like a, a big star in the circle on the ground. <laughs> uh, we have like these cups of blood, Got drink it. it, pretty much. And we kind of like plans like world domination, like to make everyone gay and then like <laughs> decrease the world population. And yeah, that's pretty much it. A question about the... So there you go. If you're still in the mindset thinking that... You know, um, this is the new norm and, you know, this place is still going to go on for, for some time. You know, you better wake your punk ass up, man. You better wake up, you know, because there is no longer time, you know. Destruction is just right at the door, you know. Then Jacob's Trouble 3.0 is just right here, man, you know. So, hopefully this lesson was edifying. I'd like to give all praises to the Most High. Yahweh Bahashem. Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Ruka Kodash, my double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone GMS who taught me this truth, which is the 100% truth. Peace and salutations to the hopeful elect spread around the four corners of the earth. Shalom.